Hey guys, what's up? It's Steph Davis here from FlipThisWholesaler.net. I have a brand new Q&A Friday video for you guys today. Uh, my question this week actually was an email that I got earlier in the week from Nika who lives in the Chicago area. Uh, Nika's email, uh, I've copied and pasted it here. It says, hi Steph, a few weeks ago I got a lead from a motivated seller who had a property for sale in a different state. I ended up getting the property under contract, but I'm not sure how to go about finding a buyer. I usually market my deals with bandit signs or sell them to people on my buyers list, but since the house is in another state, I'm not sure what to do. Other than advertising the deal on Craigslist, which has been unsuccessful so far, do you know of any quick ways to locate some buyers in this area? All right, so. Um, I get a, a lot of questions from folks who are either uh, wanting to attempt virtual, they call it wholesaling, which is basically wholesaling deals out of your area, um, or from people who are doing marketing. And this will happen when you are marketing, uh, whether it be direct mail, bandit signs, um, online advertising, whatever you're doing, that you'll get leads for properties, uh, motivated sellers that have properties in other areas, whether it be another state or uh, just an area that you're not familiar with. So. Uh, Nika, typically, she has a, a solid buyers list that she usually is able to unload her deals to people that are already on her buyers list or uses bandit signs. In this case, uh, the property is located a couple of states away. She doesn't have any contacts there. She doesn't have any buyers there. So uh, she asked me for some suggestions on what she could do. Uh, I don't personally do uh, virtual wholesaling. I don't do deals out of my market, uh, not because I don't think that it works, just I've always been I think it's easier to do deals in my own market but I do have some uh, some ideas for her and these are suggestions um, you know for finding buyers that would work either in your own market or you know if, if it's a situation like this where you have a lead or a house under contract in another state so I gave Nika several suggestions on what she could do to try to locate a buyer and one of those suggestions she went and she did some research and she was actually able to find a cash buyer for this deal. She currently has it locked up. It's supposed to close in I think two or three weeks. She's going to make seven grand on it. So I wanted to show you guys um, this particular strategy that she used. She did ask me not to use the specific address and uh, use a specific example because she, this buyer that she found, uh, this buyer is interested in buying more properties in this market where the deal is and also in other markets and she doesn't want to give the buyer's information away. So what I'm going to do is just run through an example using the same method that she used to find this buyer. Uh, and I'm just going to use an example of a lead that came across my desk about a week or so ago. So I'm going to go to the property appraiser website in my county. So it's the Pinellas County property appraiser and I'm going to do an address search. Now some of you may have this information available to you in your county. Some of you may not. Uh, you might have to go onto a different public records website in your county to find this. So if you're not already familiar with which of your uh, public uh, county uh, county's public records, land records are online, I would suggest getting familiar with those because they can be a wealth of information. But um, I'm going to go ahead on the Pinellas County Property Appraiser website and do this research. Basically what I'm doing here, I thought, kind of put myself in Nika's shoes and said, okay, I have a deal under contract. The property is out of state. I don't have any contacts there. I don't have any buyers there. What would I do? I have a whole bunch of ideas of things that I would do. Like I said, I'm just going to go through, run through this example because this is the way that she found a buyer. But basically my thought process is, all right, if I have this deal under contract, I know it's a good deal and I don't have any buyers in the area, what I want to do is go into this neighborhood virtually and see if I can find investors who already have uh, rental properties or investment properties in this neighborhood. There are a couple of different ways to do it, but this is the way that I'm going to show you. And um, the example, the address that I'm going to use for this example is 1445 um, Preston, and that is in St. Petersburg, Florida. So I'm going to click Submit, and this is, pulls up the property record. I'm just going to click on this. It opens the record up and it gives me all the information about the property, which I'm not really that concerned with. What I want to know again is are there any investors who currently have investment properties in this neighborhood? And the way that I do that, let me just go ahead and make this screen a little bit bigger so you can see. If you look up here in the top left, it says interactive map of this parcel. I'm going to click on that and that's going to pull up a parcel map. And as you can see here, 
this uh, this parcel right here that's highlighted that is the example what I'm gonna do and it you can see the information let me try and make this a little bit bigger here it gives you the um, you know the property address the subdivision what I'm looking at here is the owner name what I want to do is go around and look through all of these parcels in the neighborhood and see if I can find any company names like a land investment LLC type or uh, somebody buys houses LLC because those are typically going to be investor companies and then from there once I get the name I'm gonna try and find their contact information which a lot of times is really easy to do just by going into Google putting the company name in there and a lot of times their website will come up which will give me a phone number then I could take the phone number give them a call and say hey I noticed that you own a property at 123 Main Street I've got a deal under contract it's a great deal right up the street are you interested in buying it so what I did and I'm not gonna go through for the sake of time I'm not gonna go through every single parcel here um, but what I did is I clicked on each parcel and it will bring up again the um, the owner name and, and all of the the other information about the property but I was able to find several uh, LLC's uh, or company names that own properties within this particular actually this block there were several of them but I'm just going to show you one in particular it is let's see right here um, if I'm gonna click on that and the owner comes up oops that's the wrong one where did it go the owner comes up as RAB land investments LLC so that sounds to me like it's in some type of investment company be somebody that I would be uh, interested in talking to to see if they would be interested in buying my deal so what I did next is I went to Google and I typed in um, RAB <coughs> land investments LLC actually I tried RAB land investments LLC the first time and I wasn't able to come up with the contact information so then I did a second search for RAB land investments LLC st. Pete and if you scroll down here a little bit their company name comes up so I clicked on that and go over here to where it says contact and there is their contact information along with their phone number so it's a, just a very quick way to uh, now and this this would work for if you had a deal under uh, contract in your own area and maybe you don't have a buyers list or none you do have a buyers list and none of your buyers were interested um, this strategy would work just fine but also if you have a, a deal under contract in another state like uh, like Nika did this is a great way it's an easy way you can do it just sitting down at your desk and it doesn't cost you any money so like I said she was able to she actually went in uh, she did the same search and this particular investor owned three different properties right next to each other that I think were a block away so um, he really loved that area that where her deal is he is purchasing the property from her and hopefully going to purchase more in the future so um, anyway just wanted to show you guys this it's a it's a real easy way to find buyers um, if you've got a deal under contract and you're um, you know looking for cash buyers so um, that is all for today I hope this helped if you guys have anything that you would like to add to this feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section uh, one other thing I wanted to add to I get a lot of people that send me emails about building a buyers list or how to find buyers for their deals I've got a bunch of other different videos on YouTube that talk about finding buyers uh, those obviously are free for you to watch I also have my uh, training course the cash buyer ninja it's about five hours of um, video training where I basically go in just like this go on the computer and show a whole bunch of different ways to find buyers to build your buyers list to find the hottest cash buyers in your market without having to spend any money and basically without having to leave your house you just sit at your uh, sit at your desk and and, and do research and I show you how to do that so um, I'll put a link to that beneath this video but you know like I said if you don't want to spend money on a course you can go on to YouTube and I've got a bunch of other videos that won't cost you a dime and you can kind of um, sharpen your skills when it comes to finding buyers for your deals cash buyers for your deals and building your buyers list so uh, that's all for now I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you next time bye bye